Now I want to demonstrate her new harness. She just had this for about a week. It's working out really well. It's preventing all the rubbing. You can see she's got almost no fur on her bottom, on the bottom of her body. So anything rubbing against the back of her legs causes her sores really soon. And she has very sensitive skin. With this, we always want to clip the leash to the front of the harness, like this. And I'll just usually leave it clipped to the harness. So if the leash is going to go on, our harness goes on. If the, leash, if the harness comes off, the leash comes off. We don't recommend leaving this on her. She's likely to chew it off or get entangled in it. But it goes like this. I'm going to stick the treat through here, slide it over her head as I give her a little treat. It needs to fit very snugly. It's supposed to fit snugly for control. And with her, it needs to fit snugly so she doesn't wiggle out of it. She's a bit wiggly. This comes up behind each of her legs and clips like this. And I'm going to check it. And yeah, it's pretty tight, but we want it to be snug. And then we check and make sure it comes back a good couple inches behind her legs like this. Good dog. Now we've got better control because the leash is in the front. If she pulls ahead, it turns her body like this. Now we don't want to be yanking on her and intentionally using this like this. We want to be luring her and having her follow us because we're going to use food and body language. But for now, it's really good to have a control system that turns them if they pull ahead. It redirects that forward force and motion. With a dog like her who's so strong and powerful, I will often use two leashes one attached to the front and one attached to the back. The back one isn't really about control so much as just comfort for each of us. It's another point of contact. We call this two points of contact. And this just helps us be a little bit more secure and confident. I will often or always walk with food in my hand with a dog like Pippa 